This is not where you'd expect to find a garter snake crawling around on snow. But this is in the middle of winter. It's actually early May, and this is the remains of a snowbank next to a snake den at the Narsa Snake Dens in Manitoba's Interlake region. When I recorded this, it was sunny and the air temperature was 24 degrees Celsius. The snakes could have used the snow to cool down a bit. This fellow was poking around looking for something in the snow. I saw one snake actually burrow into the snow at one point and come out about 20 centimeters away. And this guy is learning that snow on an incline is tough to climb. Watch how he leaves parallel lines in the snow as his serpentine motion moves him along. The real significance of snow to these emerging red-sided garter snakes is what they're doing to it here. They're drinking from it. When the snakes emerge from hibernation, they're thirsty, and meltwater from any remaining snow can be an important resource. Remember, the males remain around the den sites for several weeks after they emerge, trying to mate with females as they emerge. The females emerge, mate, and skedaddle off into the woods, but males have to tough it out and stay in place for a long time. How do snakes drink? Pretty much the same way we do. They purse their lips, if you want to call the edges of the jaws lips, then create suction by flexing their mouth and jaws, just like a person does. Watch the one in the center right at the screen. That's one of the cool things about the Narsa snake dens. There's so many snakes, and they are so busy doing what snakes do, that they are often oblivious to the people staring at them, and you can witness aspects of the biology that you'd never otherwise get to see. So I hope you'll visit the Narsa snake den. There's always something new to see and learn. You can get an update on what's happening at the dens at the naturenorth.com snake den log page.